Hello everyone. Our today's bilingual story is in Chinese and English. It's read in Chinese by a parent of one of our students. It's written and read in English by a year nine girl. So let's make a start. The King's Painting. 曾经有一位国王，只有一只脚和一只眼睛，但是他非常聪明，他对所有人都是公正的。并且他们过着幸福而健康的生活。Once there was a king who had only one leg and one eye, but was very intelligent. He was just to all people, and they lived happy and healthy lives because of him. 有一天，他经过宫殿的走廊，看到了他的祖先画像，但是国王从来没有画过他的画像。由于他的残疾，不确定他的画像如何。One day he was walking through the palace hallway and saw his ancestor's portrait. The king, however, never had his portrait painted. Due to his disabilities, he wasn't sure how his painting would turn out. 因此，他邀请著名的画家们，是否可以画出一幅美丽嘅画像，放在宫殿里面？任何能够做得到这一点的画家都应该挺身而出，他们将以绘画的成果获得回报。So he invited the famous painters and asked them if they could paint a beautiful portrait of him that could be placed in the palace. Any painter who could do this should come forward, and they will be rewarded on how their painting turns out. 画家们礼貌地拒绝了他们的想法，因为他们认为，如如果对国王画一幅会冒犯他的画，他们将受到惩罚。突然，有一位画家宣布可以完成这项任务。One by one, the painters politely declined. They thought that if they made a painting of the king that would offend him, they would be punished. Suddenly, one painter declared that he could fulfill the task. 国王好高兴，并允允许画家开始绘制肖像，然后用油漆平冲绘图，最后宣布那幅肖像画完成了。当画家取出这幅这幅肖像画时，包括国王在内的所有人都被惊呆了。The king became happy and gave the painter permission to start drawing back the portrait. Then he filled the drawing with paints. Finally, he declared that the portrait was finished. When the painter presented the portrait, everyone was stunned, including the king. 画家画了一幅肖像，国王坐在马的单腿上。压住光，闭住眼睛，瞄准箭头。国王好高兴，看到画家巧妙地隐藏了国王嘅残章，从而为他画了美丽嘅画像，并给了他好大的奖励。The painter made a portrait in which the king was sitting on the horse. On the one leg side, holding his bow and aiming the arrow with one eye closed, the king was very pleased to see that the painter had made a beautiful portrait by cleverly hiding the king's disabilities and gave him a great reward. This story's moral is: we should always remember to keep a positive attitude towards others, not to punish their faults. The moral of the story is: we should always think positive of others and ignore their deficiencies. If you would like to translate this story or any other story that you would like to share with us, then please contact us using the details on the screen. <laughs>